I took a moment this morning to sit back, watch the birds, look at nature, just enjoy the cool of the air, and I began to think about all the a bounty of free food that just is in my yard and a lot of it that's disregarded or even undesirable. Look, I'm in a patch of raspberries that I'm never going to be able to eat all these raspberries. So I can harvest some of them. Hi, I'm Justin Rhodes. I've taught thousands of people to grow their own eggs in a more sustainable way. Here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to source your own free food from your own land. So I thought to myself, self, let's go around the farm. Let's just go around in our yard and show these kind of folks just how much food is available. Free food for that matter. Right here I have a raspberry patch that has gone out of control. It's right next to the chickens. We're never going to eat this many raspberries, so let's harvest the excess. Right smack dab in the middle of these raspberries are some very common weeds. Yellow dock and dandelion. Here, I'll show you. Yellow dock. Dandelion. They can eat the whole root, leaf, and flower. I was about to walk away from these raspberries to my next area, and look, I just can't even walk a yard until there's more food for the birds. Anybody? Anybody? Plantain. And surrounding this plantain is, don't forget, very common things like clover, not necessarily weed, but wonderful grass that is prevalent around in this area and around the clover just regular grass harvest some of that too to take to them a good close-up shot of the clover there while i was down there harvesting clover i couldn't help but notice some creasy greens this is great for them and you Maybe a little less common, but there's what it looks like. As I was throwing the creasy greens in the uh, bucket, look what I saw. Lamb's quarter. This lamb's quarter stuff grows like crazy around here. Guys, I haven't even moved 10 feet from one spot. And what, I've already found over five things? This is ridiculous. Right outside the chicken's pen, I found some sort of vetch and a rye. But we need a little protein. Everybody knows how much chickens, dinosaurs, love protein. These little T-Rexes over here in this fence. So I'm gonna save my persimmon. You see? You see? I'm gonna do two things at once. Protect this persimmon. Something's getting this. What is it? What is it? Oh look, they're hidden under some covers. And I think they're getting it on. So that would be a really good, that's some Japanese beetle. Picked him right off the plant. Crush him. Woo! There's the other one. Now that was kind of gross and that takes a little bit used to, still not quite used to that. If that grosses you out, take around a bucket of water, put it underneath these leaves, shake those bugs off into the bucket of water or better yet, get one of those non-toxic Japanese beetle traps and just let them collect and then dump them out to the birds. Look, this is not a weed. This is one of the best plants in the world for them. Comfrey. It grows like a weed. You got to cut these things back eight times a year. Just keep them under control. And I, there's no way we're going to be able to use that all. It's got some of the highest protein of any plant in the world. And the chickens love it. So let's give them some of that. And look, guys. I'm still right by the raspberry patch. Look. The persimmon tree where it got the Japanese beetle, raspberry pat. Right behind me, I'm at another set of chickens. This is my kitchen garden's chickens. Why do I call them that? Well, they're right next to my kitchen garden. There's my kitchen garden. There's my kitchen. So here we have some foliage that's just not going to make it. It's just gotten too attacked by 
pop by something. This plant might not even make it. You could throw this excess to the birds that are right there. And of course you could throw any extra produce. Like if all this stuff comes in, there's no way we're gonna be able to eat it all. And the chickens are right there. We throw it right over there to them. Look, a log that's been sitting here a while. Oh yeah, a worm, oh yeah, huge earthworm. So why not purposefully leave out logs, roll them over occasionally, and harvest the worms? Look at that big juicy guy. Woo! So I'm in the backyard now. Of course, I got those wonderful worms, but then I also got this Queen Anne's lace. It's like in the carrot family. I've got this uh, wild black raspberries and daylilies. Check it. The Queen Anne's lace. More dandelion. Look, the black raspberries just growing down here by the creek a nice nice patch of daylilies i think that'll do it for a quick stroll around the yard right guys less than five minutes you can harvest this stuff and this these grains can be up to 20 percent of the chicken's diet ah, a snake just kidding Kids left out their toy. <laughs> Guys, those are just a few of the creative ways to feed your chickens. I mean, we're talking cut your feed bill 100%. Listen, I've got 20 different ideas and things that I've implemented to do that over the years. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do a free webinar in a couple of weeks. June 26th, the beautiful one I are doing a free webinar, 20 ways, 20 creative ways to feed your chickens, to cut your feed bill 100%. Absolutely free webinar. I'll leave the link for it down below so you can get in and get registered. If you're looking at this past June 26th and you've missed the webinar, no problem. I'll also leave a link to the article I wrote about it.